Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's that time where I'm going to revisit some palettes I haven't been in a while and I've chosen to go into the Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny and Tweety Bird. By far this is my favourite collection from I Heart Revolution. I did like the Disney but quality wise Looney Tunes beats it. Um, I think Looney Tunes have beat Dr. Seuss as well. I haven't tried Shrek yet, I'm waiting to try that. I want to combine these palettes together. Considering they're very colourful, I am going to do a colourful look today. As for the rest of the makeup, I've got these that I've picked out, so you'll see in the video what I end up using. But yeah, if you're interested to see how my look turns out today using these two palettes, make sure you carry on watching, hit subscribe, join my Patreon if you like, I'll leave it down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. I'm so excited to get into these palettes. I do have the lip oil as well, which I'm a huge fan, but it is a backup. I haven't opened it yet. I want to get through some. My other lip stuff. So I've just popped this on. This is the Rosy Lips Vaseline. I always love this. Um, so I'm just going to put that on, soften my lips a bit. As for primer, I'm going to go into this. This is the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow. And it is a pipette, so I'm going to take quite a few drops that much this stuff is so nice <laughs> smells incredible i also used a bit of the brow soap as well from i Heart revolution this is their honey bear brow jam i've just put that on off camera but update though i've really been enjoying this i feel like this is going to be my october favorites maybe uh oh no i did already mention this in my september favorites i think oh my god this, i'm so sorry but I think it's my nose, but this absolutely stinks. If you love honey, you're gonna like this. I, I'm not a massive honey fan. Okay, let's start off with the eyes today. I'm gonna go in my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I also did my nails as well. I'm all set for Halloween, depending when this video comes up, but yeah, cute. I'd love to know which is your favorite Looney Tunes palette. I absolutely love these two. I do love the Sylvester one for warm, fiery looks. And that Taz one is great for just neutral glam, like a night out sort of thing. I just think it's a really good collab, what they did. Um, when I do get the Shrek, I'm I'm hoping it's a good one. <laughs> I'm hoping they have succeeded. They do the packaging insane, but is it going to perform? That's what I need to know. Also, I do plan to have some more testing videos on new chocolate bar palettes. Well, not new, new, but new to my collection. So look out for videos for that. Yeah, I'm very excited to have some new chocolate bars. So if you haven't seen any of my videos whatsoever and you didn't even know they collabed with Lean Tunes, I'll link my previous videos in the description box so you can see more looks I've done with these palettes. I'm going to start off with the Tweety Bird. So the Tweety Bird palette is more of a pinky, I'd say more pink palette. You do have the odd yellow and you've got some neutrals in there too. Very pretty. I'm going to start off with the sweet shade which is the middle pink and they do come in mirrors as well which I really like but I just love the size of these. Um, not too big, not too crazy. Going in sweet. I'm going to focus the shade on the outfit. But yeah the pink, the hot pink in this palette is beautiful, so pigmented. I'm also gonna mix between the escape shade and the granny shade, and I'm just gonna put that just above the sweet shade. And the granny shade has a bit of a sparkle in the pan, but as you're blending, the sparkle tends to disappear, so. So now we've got that down. These pinks blend so nice into each other. Okay, I think it's time to go into Bugs Bunny now. So, so this is Bugs Bunny. And I'm thinking of going into Park. Just had to blow that off Park. I remember this shade is pigmented for a pastel green, which I'm happy about, so. And I'm gonna focus this on it in a corner. like that. Yummy. I'm also going to take another shade from Bugs Bunny. I'm going to go with Carrot. Oh, 
lot of powders on. And I'm going to focus carrot just above in between the green and pink shade. That is so pretty. These palettes go so well together already. Now I'm going to go back into the Tweety Bird. There is a yellow in here called Bird which it's a yellow but it's also got a bit of mustard in there which I quite like so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna put it a i might just put it above the green a bit just in that space so the shimmer i'm gonna go into is friends and i'm just gonna take my pinky first Look how pretty that is. And I'm just going to put it in that space, what we've left. I'm going to wet this, see how much potential we can get out of that shade. A bit brighter. Oh, I love that. And then I'm going to go into the Tweety Bird palette is a shade called Sing. I'm going to take a bit of that and I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of it. Just so a bit brighter. And then I'm going to go to the Bugs Bunny go in relax shade. This one's quite putty. Again, spraying it. Pat that into the mix as well. Okay, I forgot to show off camera, but I did go in the Bugs Bunny palette in the shade Play. This is my favourite shade to put in the inner corner of, out of all the palettes, I think. It's just so bright, green, popping. Yeah. Okay, time for the base. I'm going to go into some colour correction. This is the Made by Mitchell Teaching Peach shade. And I'm just going to add one dot on each side. I don't know if this does anything, but I just want to see. Okay, so I've popped that on and then I'm gonna go over a concealer. I'm gonna use the HBN Cosmetic Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade 1.5 Warm. Uh, just put two dots and maybe some Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to go in the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrated Foundation in the shade Neutral Sand. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to go in the Made by Mitchell Blush in the shade Shady Business. So for my liquid blush, I'm going to go in the I Heart Revolution Tasty Watermelon. I'm going to place it on the back of my hand first and just apply it on my finger for now. This is a very thin formula, so it just blends out seamlessly and it is buildable. If you're new to liquid blushes, I recommend these. Okay, next up I'm going to go in a powder. This is the Revolution Lace and I'm going to use my powder puff from Shein. Okay, I'm now going to go into this. This is the Beauty Bay Bronze Blush Glow. This is such a nice palette with a really blinding highlighter. I really love the two blushes in here. I'm still making my mind up about the bronzer. I don't know if it's too warm for me. I don't know, but... I've been neglecting this, I haven't been using it as much as I, f I thought I would be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna go into a bronzer, a blush and a highlighter. So this bronzer is called Hazelnut. And that is what that looks like. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is too orange for me, but let's just give it another go. 
Yeah, it looks quite orange, doesn't it? I don't know. You have to let me know what you think. But it blends really nice. The formula is very soft, very blendable. But is it the right tone for me? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a blush now. I'm gonna use the blush peach. Now this blush I really do enjoy. very very nice blush it does look really nice with the bronzer actually that color actually this looks quite nice i think i'm warming up to the bronzer with a blush on top yeah i didn't really wasn't much for the bronzer on its own but with a blush on top I think it looks better. Before putting the highlighter, I'm going to use the iHeart Revolution Glow Mist. This is their Unicorn Heart Glow. Right, time for this highlighter. This highlighter is so good. It is called Precious. And it is such a precious shade. Like, look at that. Um, yeah. You don't need a lot of this because, Jesus, this is blinding. Like, look at that. And that was with one swipe. I do not need a lot. Stunning highlight and it makes me mad that I'm not using it enough. Um, yeah, tap over it to make it more sort of, oh, it's just so nice. Okay, I do recommend this. I just need to use it a lot more. Okay, so we're on to lips now. I'm gonna go to this Dr. Seuss Horton Here's a Hue. I forgot how pigmented this is. Like, I don't know whether I need a lipstick but i am going to use a lip liner this is my favorite lip liner ever i've been using it a lot this is the essence stay eight hour lip liner in the shade curious um this lip liner just goes with a lot of lipsticks or lip glosses i'm So this is the Dr. Seuss Horton Here's a Who. It smells really nice. I've also got the orange toned one as well. Okay, so this lip gloss has got pretty much of a pigment. So yeah, I don't think I need a lipstick. That is so cute. It is very sticky though. I forgot how sticky it is. Yeah, in comparison of lip glosses that I've tried lately, it is quite on the sticky side, but beautiful color. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. I am gonna go off camera. I am gonna put some, I'm just gonna put some lashes on. These are the Meggy Lashes in the style Daffodil. These are very pretty. I'm not gonna wear any eyeliner today. Who am I? Like, I literally live for eyeliner, but I just feel like eyeliner can be a bit too harsh on pastel colours sometimes. I really want the colours do the work, so I don't want to use any eyeliner. So yeah, I'm just going to do some lashes. Hopefully that can make it look a bit more lifted. I'm also going to go in a mascara as well, just to make my lashes a bit black so they blend better with the lashes. This is the Game of Thrones mascara update i've been actually enjoying this i haven't tried a good drugstore mascara in ages the last one that i really enjoyed was the iHeart revolution coconut so yeah i've been liking this so i'm just gonna coat my lashes ever so slightly before i put my fake lashes on so guys here's the completed eye look using the two looney tune palettes i just think this is such a good palette combo um yeah, even though there's only really one shade depth in here, which is the Tweety Bird Nest, I still think this is a nice look. Uh, even though there's not much depth in both of the palettes, you can still create a nice, light, bright and colourful look. Don't know if this is autumn appropriate, but it doesn't really matter, does it? This is probably one of my favourite looks I've come up in a very, very long time. I just feel... I just feel more me when I wear these type of colours. Um, but yeah, it was nice to go into those palettes again. It's, it's honestly given me so much joy. I'm in such a good mood now. Like I was in a good mood before, but I'm in a much better mood now. It was nice to go back into this palette again. At first, the bronzer did put me off for a bit. It's probably why I stopped using it. I, I don't know, I was um and ahhing whether it's too warm or not, but the blush makes it so much better. So from now on, when I use this palette, I'm gonna use the bronzer with the blush. Sometimes I tend to 
use the bronzer and then I pick out a blush out of my collection but with this I think it's much better if you just use the two with each other this highlighter is so good it's up there my favorite highlighters along with the disco dogs blondie highlighter the cool pop flexitarian um yeah it's such a stunning highlighter so revisiting this has made me think it's actually quite on the thick side i um, i didn't think it was that thick when i first wore it but maybe it's because i haven't worn it in a while but the color payoff is so nice and i'm not really bothered about the stickiness now I feel like it's worn off a bit. Can that can that happen? Can stickiness wear off? So yeah, that wraps up my video today. Do let me know what you think of this makeup look. Is there any other palettes you want me to test out and do some looks? I love getting inspiration from these palettes and if it helps you out with a palette that you already own, then I'm happy to do that. Someone did suggest to me to do another look with a nutcracker. I still planning what to do because I did try and play with this the other day and I just got really annoyed with this blue. <laughs> Um, this blue is just not, just not it. Doesn't, doesn't, not want to play nice to me. This blue, so I'm trying to think of other ways to wear blue out of this palette. I have already worn this royal blue on the lid, which, which is quite nice. But what I've found that this palette, the pans go hard over time. Like I haven't touched it in a while since that video, uh, and other looks behind the scenes when I'm not filming, I've noticed the pans have gone really hard so i've noticed this royal blue i've started to have to dig and i have to scrape a bit off i hate when that happens i don't know why that happens like my shadows from the loon shoes don't do that so i'm a bit confused with that um but yeah i am i am about to pick up this palette again don't you worry it deserves another look i still wish that iHeart revolution brought out christmas sets like the tasty hamper i don't know why they haven't done that this year it's kind of upsetting because they were the best and they were the most exciting things um last year the tasty hamper still my favorite christmas set but yeah i'm gonna go now if you did like this video do give a big thumbs up and if you want to see more looks with other palettes that i've got in my collection make sure you let me know and hit subscribe because i do a lot of them and yeah join my patreon if you like as well i'm always updating over there of what palettes i'm using etc i hope you all have a day night with time watching this and i shall see you next one bye